everybody, and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slab Fest, episode 187, for September 21st, 2019. We flipped the lights on for 1v1, as Mega Man 3 Snake Man is looking to seize a new win up after suffering his first defeat to Nobunaga. However, a major challenge stands in his way heading into the 190s, as he takes on one of the toughest Cinderies from the 2019 Anime Girls Tournament in Fate's Rin Tosaka, who is making her debut on the main stage. Believe it or not, Fulgore was scheduled to fight here, but considering I made a blunder earlier on in the 170s and 180s, he fought two Eps back to back, and I didn't catch it. He has been given his release, and it's probably for the better, as we get a much higher caliber match here, as we jump down to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! Alright, Rin, if you bring that same fight you did to Hayate here against Snake Man, you might just have a big time win here. Man and Rinto Saka, this is a match made in heaven, or hell, considering the background. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Snake Man starts off with a side kick right to the search snake. Man, so Saka getting flashed back to the acid shot. Now Snake Man with the fist right to that dash, he kicks the acid one there. Gets a nice aerial, and Rin knocks her down good. Now Rin counters with a big axe kick right to that laser kick. Now Snake Man trying to counter from the air, misses search snake, and Rin gets a nice aerial throw. Snake Man back at her grill, gets that nice energy dive, missed that acid shot, and the energy dive there, Rin countering with that axe kick right to the laser kick now. Search snake comes out, Rin right behind him, big aerial chain. Hitting Snake Man, good, almost doing a third of his health. Launching him right to the side of the wall. Snake Man misses jump kick, Rin capitalizes with a grab. Now Rin teching Snake Man's aerial, hits him good with a big aerial chain. Man, launching him to the ground, nearly does him in. Now Snake Man trying to fight out of the corner. Search Snake from behind, allows Snake Man to get a combo up front. Follows that edge shot right to that drop kick, miss that. Blocks Rin's axe kick, now counter attacks with the Snake Rush. Ends up hitting Rin to suck it down for the kill. Man, Snake Man barely hanging on, weathering the storm that Rin had in round one. Round two, can Snake Man keep it up, or will Rin take it back? Rin starts with a side kick right to the aerial chain. Now a big combo chain on Snake Man, launching him up high up, right to that aerial grab. Now leaps over the acid shot. Now Rin teching gets a nice jumping double axe kick now. Now tries to leap it on Snake Man's special. Snake Man counter attacking, missed the energy rush. Now see Rin trying to tech through, it does so. Gets a nice jumping axe kick through. Now ends up grabbing Snake Man, launching him into an aerial throw. Search Snake coming out, Snake Man missed the energy rush. Now Rin countering with the axe kick right to that laser kick grab. Energy dive ends up hitting Rin there. Now see Rin tanking with a nice sidekick into the aerial chain. Snake Man eaten alive in the air. Man, Rin just completely dissected him in round two. Round three, Snake Man, come on, fight your way back here. All right, see so Snake Man trying to start a chain. Rin countering with that aerial throw now. Missed the jump kick, now gets a nice aerial string. Hits Snake Man hard right to that laser kick. Now Snake Man trying to rush in, going for a special, ends up whiffing as Rin counters with an aerial throw. Energy rush ends up getting, oh, it ends up white going through Rin's teching. Now search Snake whiff, Rin punishing with the aerial chain now, and Snake Man hitting Hitting him good, now it's the aura burst whiff, now Snake Man trying to catalyze, missed the energy rush, gets the second one off though, now tries to fire off a giant snake, ends up juggling Rin some, fires off the search snake from behind, ends up catching Rin on the backside, but she quickly counters with a grab to that axe kick now, another grab to an axe kick will take Snake Man out there. Holy smoke, he's had a hard time keeping up, but Rin manages to take him out the next two rounds, pretty handily, 2-1. Well, it's like Rin found her rhythm very quickly. Snake Man barely clinching round one, and then Rin comes back hard in the last two and takes it. And takes a commanding lead. Looks like Rin just needed a round to figure out Snake Man, and once she got it, then, well, put him away rather easily. Kind of sad to see that happen to Snake Man, considering he's, like, he was doing well for a while, and it just fell apart at the seams here. Snake Man tied himself into a knot. And Rin pretty much kicked him away after that. Well, a strong start for Tosaka's Season 4 run, so that's good, even though Season 4 is almost over. I don't know if she's going to have another fight later on. We'll see. And Snake Man, I think he might get a shot at Redemption later, perhaps in the 190s somewhere. A pretty solid match, though, to get 187 going, so props to both Rin and Snake Man here. Alrighty, let's see if single set number 2 can follow this. I'm hoping so. Be right back as I get it all ready, and I will drink some water, get my throat back in fighting form. Welcome back, Mugenites, for another superb single scuffle. The last one started with so much promise, but once Rin took control of the field, poor Snake Man just kept slipping up. Here's hoping Breakers Dal Wong and the Axe Terminator Alcott could keep up and maintain their pace and deliver a bigger punch here. The former is a close combat specialist, but can also do long range with his lightning dragon spam. The Tin Titan's best chance is mid-range here, so he can keep the Master Martial Artist projectile in check, and at the same time chop him down with his constant barrage of axe chains. As we hurry to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! I already explained what both fighters have to do here. Now it's the execution. Dal 
Kyle Wong and Alcott about to throw down in this brand new arena. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Dao Wong goes up to blow kick right to that fireball. Knocks Alcott out of his axe slam. Man, Dao Wong just keeping the pressure up. Alcott taking through with that axe slam with a counter. Now gets a nice groundwork launching. Dao Wong comes back, raining jump kicks down on him. Now Dao Wong gets up to rapid jump kicks right to the uppercut. Alcott in defense mode, stuck in the corner, trying to fight back with the axe jabs. And Dao Wong just keeping that pressure up, just knocking Alcott out of his axe swings. Now Alcott coming back with the axe chain, wins that last shot. Dao Wong trying to get spaced, and the ground rip blocked by Dao Wong's fires off electrical dragon heads. Now starts taunting Alcott. Now Alcott trying to get the ground rips in, decides to run in, starts activating Dao Wong. Smart strategy. Now Alcott coming back hard, trying to keep Dao Wong close, starts chaining him. Brick wall slam, watching him up, following that arcing axe combo. Ends up watching Dao Wong. Man, brick wall slam nearly has a missing arcing axe shot. Dao Wong coming back with that corkscrew, corkscrew drill, special kick. There he goes. Sheesh. And Dao Wong barely pulling that out at the right time to score the round one win. Round two, let's see if Alcott can bring it back with that heavy duty axe. All right, missed the axe swing. Yeah, Dao Wong getting up to rapid kicks and that jab. Now Alcott coming back with the axe chain into the ground. Watching Dao Wong up right to that axe slam. Now gets a big axe chain. Dao Wong just getting falling. Big aerial following the big knee from Alcott. Now into taking that electrical dragon head. Brick wall slam right to the arcing axe shot. Yeah, Dao Wong just getting volleyed badly. Alcott missed that aerial knee and Dao Wong leaping away. Starts spamming the light electrical head, light electrical dragon heads. Man, Alcott taking out with his axe. Ground right, right to the axe jab will take him down. Man, a whole lot of moves coming out. Sorry if I lost control there a bit. But Alcott takes round two. Round three, who will seize the major win here? See, Dao Wong gets him with the rapid jump kick right to the electrical dragon head. Now Alcott chaining him now, coming back with the aerial following that knee. Now Alcott trying to close that gap. Nice axe slash counter into the ground rip. Dao Wong just getting eaten alive. Alcott just slamming him around. Big aerial chain following that big knee. Now Dao Wong kicked to the other side by Alcott's jump kick. Now Alcott re-chaining him with that axe strike. Dao Wong trying to escape. Gets a nice... Aerial kick there, now ground rip from Alcott, Alcott trying to rush in, missed the X-Slam, gets Dao Wong that time, ground rip gonna catch Dao Wong because he gets up, and there he goes! Got volleyed by the ground rip, and Dao Wong just could not gain his footing back, as Alcott rips away the Major 2-1. Hey, that was pretty fun, you okay there, guy? I don't think so. Poor Dao Wong lost his footing and just could not get himself back into the match whatsoever. It seemed like when Dao Wong built momentum, he kept it, I mean... Round one, he had Alcott in the corner with those rapid jabs and the kicks. And, well, once Alcott managed to let, you know, get his teching timing right, he managed to counter and turned it around for himself. Oh, poor Dao Wong. His fast footwork and kicks just did not get him the win here. And Alcott got a much-needed comeback win here, so good for him. Another nice, pretty solid single set here. Very good 1v1s for this episode. 187 definitely delivered in that department. So, props to all four combatants. And hopefully Dao Wong will come back with a win of his own later in the 190s. And Alcott, we'll see if he can keep that momentum going with this win. Alrighty, folks, double set number one about to come your way momentarily. Gotta go get a drink of water, do what I do usually, and we'll get into the double sets. And hopefully they'll bring the heat too. Be right back. Howdy, peeps! The double stage has been set, so let's begin. Team Darkstalkers, Victor and Jetta, have a real shot at potentially annihilating a team that has been buried so far under the earth in Yu Yu Hakusho's Hiei and Karama. From Dino Slayers to Dung Eaters, that's quite a fall from grace if you ask me. However, if H and K can claw their way to an unexpected W, it may buy them a bit more time as we transfer to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! I'm still holding my breath on Hiei and Karama pulling one out here, but who knows, anything is possible. Darkstalkers and Yu Yu Hakusho about to mix it up. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Jetta springs to the air, knocks Hiei back. Let's see, uh, Victor missed that headbutt on, on Karama, throws up the flower barrier. Now Hiei trying to fend them off. Victor missed that body splash. Now goes for an electrical spin. Ends up getting knocked out of it, though. Flower barrier ripping through Jetta. Now Victor with the headbutt breaking it up on Karama. Now Hiei attacking up the rapid jumps from behind. Victor and Jetta in trouble here. But now they're trying to sandwich Karama. Electrical field. Big energy D following Jetta's attack. Good God. Karama taking a lot of damage. Now a big electrical fist swing. Now Victor going for the electrical ground pound slam takes Karama out, Hiei in trouble, but Victor's nearly down here, and he, uh, electrical fist spin, then just burying Hiei in the corner, and the knee from Victor will take him out from behind. Not The axe handle wasn't even necessary. Victor barely hanging on for him and Jetta in round one as they take the W. Round two, Hiei and Karama come back and fight harder here. I see Jetta trying to attack Karama, she's got the flower, he got the flower barrier up, rapid jab from Hiei, double jump kick from Victor right to the electrical fist spin, and it's like Hiei cutting himself out. Now Karama gets grabbed by Jetta, gets the blood sucked out of him there. Now Victor trying to spin the electrical fist, ends up missing. Now, see, Jetta's got PA ends up taking him, knocking him senseless. Now, Victor charging up. Oh boy, electrical ground pound coming. Ends up doing big damage, takes Hiei out. And now, Karama got 
Jedi buried in the corner getting mugged by Victor. Now Victor is charging up electrical fists. Now Jedi getting up the aerial chain with his blades. And Victor just slamming Heat Karama down for the count. Holy smokes! That was just complete and utter domination from Victor and Jedi in round two. A way more convincing round two win as they get a 2-0. Yay! Victor and Jedi with a nice strong performance here. Nice to see one out of them. At the expense of EA and Karama, of course, but hey. A win's a win, you take one where you can get it. <laughs> Anyways, Victor and Jetta finally get some momentum for themselves. Now let's see if they can keep it up going into the 190s. He and Karama, well, more dirt just got piled onto their hole, so that's about all I can say for them. I don't. I think Season 4 ending could be the best thing that happens for them, because they're going to go elsewhere. I don't know. All I know is they ain't staying with me. <laughs> they're trying, but they're just failing miserably still. All right, maybe double set number two can pull us out of this slump, hopefully. Anyways, be right back. Hopefully double set number two will deliver the dynamite we so need. Be right back as I get it all set up. We continue our climb up the 2v2 tower. Next is Team School Live's Karubi and Yuri, as they must endure the fast flurry of fists and kicks from Rage of the Dragons' Billy and Jimmy Lewis. A while ago, they suffered an unexpected 2-0 defeat at the hands of Mika Musume. The power creep might be real, folks. Hope the brothers haven't fallen behind in terms of AI. They could erase any doubts pushing the Gakurashi girls to a 3 and potentially beating them. Is it in the cards? Random stage? Oh, you know that answer. Hope you all enjoy! Karumi and Yuri, if they have their way, Billy and Jimmy will be scarfing down spades and shovels. School Live versus Rage of the Dragons on the Planetarian stage. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Karumi opens up the shovel slice, following Yuri's slice stick, she rushes in at Jimmy. Now Karumi cutting Billy through the chest with her shovel. Now Jimmy throws up a fireball, and Karumi tosses right into Jimmy. Energy cross slash hitting Yuri. Now see how Jimmy rushing up with that dashing fiery fist to the uppercut. Does some heavy damage to Karumi. As he Karumi with the car special, countering Billy does some nice damage. Now Yuri trying to get a spade combo off on Jimmy. Retaliates with the fire uppercut. Lightning kick hitting Karumi, good from Billy. Now it's Yuri spamming the water balloons. Goes for the helicopter crash special, ends up whipping. Now Krumi fighting out of the corner with the jumble slices. Billy trying to dodge that death barricade. Now fire extinguisher nearly hitting Jimmy. She blocks that. Now Krumi with the water gun falling. Yuri's spade shot. Let's see how Jimmy firing off another dashing fiery fist. Hits Yuri for some nice damage. Lights stick coming out. Oh, Jimmy ends up grabbing Yuri. Toss her. Krumi gutting Billy with her shovel. Now a water gun. Oh, so now the war water balloons coming out. Now the school life girls have Jimmy sandwich. And now Billy leaping in to try to save him. Each Krumi's water gun as punishment. Oh my god, and that Yuri striker came out to help too. And the Lewis brothers got caved in hard in round one. Getting caught between them, big mistake. Hopefully, Rage of the Dragons can fight back harder in round two, keep themselves in a better spot. Come on. All right, see how Yuri, I was like, Karumi opening up the water gun special right away, following Yuri's water gun special. Damn, dude. Now Karumi tacking on some shovel slices, doing some nice early damage. Water gun special hitting Billy back, catching Jimmy, watering can. I was like, Karumi with that shovel special, Billy trying to jump in. Now Jimmy counterattacking with the dashing fiery fist, gets both school live girls, following the fireball. Nice shovel counter from Karumi, goes back to the water gun special, following the water balloon from Yuri. Now Jimmy right back in there, grill with the dashing fiery fist. Now Jimmy's spamming that dashing fiery fist special for all it's worth, tossing Yuri away after the grab. Now Karumi missed the grab on Billy. Now see Yuri rushing in on Jimmy, gets a spade combo up, and Karumi nearly dead. Now see Karumi going for a water gun special, catching Billy. And now see, oh, see Billy bouncing around, there he goes. Jimmy grabbing, Karumi throws her in the corner. Karumi going for that one-hit shovel, and it's a missing it though. Tries for it again, it looks like. Oh, no, got shoveled Jimmy out of the air. Jimmy firing back with a super fist string, nearly has him. Throws off a fireball, uh, it's off at Karumi, and Jimmy manages to take Yuri out too. Damn! I can't believe it! Jimmy actually had the moxie to pull through for him in the Fallen Billy round two! And we're going to round three! Who will take it here? I see Yuri throwing off the light stick, water gun special from Karumi, Billy disrupting up the jump kick now, and I'll say, oh, Billy with the lightning kick catching Kurt Karumi good! Now Yuri waiting for her opening on Billy, and Karumi trying to attack Jimmy, counters with a forearm, now Karumi eats a fireball, Karumi firing back the shovel slam! The shovel combo, and Billy Billy Lewis got knocked out of his lightning kick string. Good God, Jimmy nearly dead. Water gun, that's going to off Jimmy. And Kur now Yuri's water gun falling that. Now Krumi missed that shovel special. No need, Jimmy's already dead though. Now Krumi grabs Billy, guts him with the shovel. Now Billy in trouble, got to fend off both girls by himself. Water gun special from Yuri. Now Krumi holds him all up, and Billy's grill with that shovel. Takes him out with that shovel slam. Holy crapola. School Live just came swinging out of the gates after in round three. Did not give the Lewis brothers a chance to retaliate and plant them in the ground 2-1. It looked like School Live is going to escape with a 2-0, but Jimmy with that epic clutch performance in round 2 giving him and Billy life, but sadly it was short-lived. But Gaku Garashi girls, 
they remain strong, folks. And they brought Billy and Jimmy to a nice match here and whew, narrowly escaped defeat. I honestly thought Billy and Jimmy were going to come back, but Ruby and Yuri cut them off at the knees with the shovels and spades, respectively. Not much else to be said there. Ugh. Now I'm going to get my bearings back. <laughs> Kurumi and Yuri, hopefully they get their final win of the season in the 190 somewhere. I think they got one more match. And then may maybe they'll be in the finale. I don't know. Lewis Brothers, they got one more shot at redemption later in the 190s, and we'll see if they get it. <laughs> That's all I can really say. 3v3 main event of EP187 coming up, folks, and hopefully that will be the barn burner. Be right back as we see which six participants will partake in this crazy-ass main event. The 3v3 main event of EP187 awaits, ladies and gents. Holy hell, this one is going to be catastrophic chaos in the making. Team Mega Man's Blue Bomber, Proto Man, and Base must contend with probably the fastest rising threat in triples to date, with Team Metroid's Dark Samus, Ridley, and Arachnus. Not many teams go weather the Space Pirate's Storm of Photon Beams, Flamethrowers, and Buzzsaw Spam, but Dr. Light and Wily's creations have a lot of unique abilities to help them hold their own in the spacing department, but will it be enough to grind out the Major? Random stage, let us know right now. Hope you all enjoy. This is going to be one huge mess in the middle of that ring. Who will take the W? Even I don't know. The F187 3v3 main event is here, folks. Team Mega Man versus Team Metroid. Come on, Ridley, land in the ring. We gotta get it on. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Rectus is loading with some claw jabs. Knocks Mega Man back, and now Ridley launched across the ring. Dark Samus takes to the air. Proto Man greeting over that fire uppercut. Mega Man spaces with that flamethrower. Falling bases, big ass special beam. Good God, takes out Rectus already. Proto Man and Mega Man trying to double team Dark Samus in the corner, and Ridley getting volleyed by Mega Man, Proto Man, and bases attacks. God, really, Ridley and Rectus down. Dark Samus trying to fight back to the phase on beam all by herself. Now Proto Man trying to roll in, base with another big beam, Proto Man trying to spam that flame uppercut, and Dark Samus in defense mode here, as the Mega Man body slammed by Dark Samus tries to escape the corner, as the Proto Man whiffing that flame uppercut, but a jump kick from behind will off Dark Samus. And Mega Man, Proto Man, and Base secure the upset round one victory. Sheesh. Round two. Let's see if Metroid can come back from behind. I right, see Dark Samus like Ridley ends up grabbing Base. Let's see, oh, Mega Man about to unload with that junk shield. Proto Man with the big fire beam does some good damage to erect this and Dark Samus. Base tosses it to the air. Now Ridley about to launch Proto Man with his beak. Good God. What's going on in the bottom of the ring here? Oh, Ridley with the fireball spam. Truly, Mega Man luckily had his defense up. Flame shot. Oh, Base getting volleyed by Erectus's buzzsaw on the ground. Now Ridley raining down fireball hell on Mega Man and Proto Man. And Base below, phase on beam hitting Proto, Proto Man, Proto Man down, and it was like Base is down too, Mega Man in deep trouble here, now Dark Samus trying to spam that ice grab on Mega Man, slams him down, oh see now Rekt is chipping him with that buzzsaw falling Ridley's fireballs, my goodness, Mega Man just got flambayed in the corner, and Metroid are right back in it folks, take it round two. As we expect of this monster team. Round three, who will take the victory? Alright, so you have Ridley alone with some fireball samples like Astro Crush missing from Mega Man. Base leaping is in the air. Ridley just leaping over the Mega Man's. Oh, see, oh, Sonic Wave coming up. Now Buzzsaw from Erectus. That's the ice grab from Dark Samus. Good God. Mega Man, Proto Man down well below half health already. Now the Buzzsaw charge again from. Oh my God, Erectus, Dark Samus with that ice line to Mega Man. Sheesh, so much in the. So much happened at the end of that round three. Mega Man and Proto Man's health bar just got violated by multiple attacks at once. Half of them I couldn't even see in the chaos because they were all buried in the corner. Base Proto Man and Mega Man just had no chance of recovery as Metroid snuffs out Mega Man 2-1. You lose. Simple as that. Not much else to be said here, folks. Man, poor Mega Man. Once they got stuck in... Well, once they all got stuck in the corner, forget it. We've got to wreck this buzzsaw and get to death and Ridley raining fireballs down. Dark Samus spamming that ice grab slam. It's kind of hard to mount any kind of offensive when you're stuck getting mauled by all three of those attacks at once. I'm amazed Mega Man even took a round here, so... I, could, I just give them a round of applause for that. Mega Man, Proto Man, and Base, they are to be messed with, and they held their own pretty decently against Metroid. Unfortunately, when Dark Samus, Erectus, and Ridley get started, it's hard to come back, usually. So hopefully Mega Man can rebound later on. They are a pretty damn solid team. I don't expect them to stay down long at all. And Metroid just chalking up another one for their, you know, amazing 3v3 record so far. And that will be it for 187, folks. Hope you all enjoyed the Red Hot action for this one. Stay tuned for episode 188 next weekend. Don't know what the hell we're going to see there, but I'm excited to see who comes out to play then. Until then, I'll see you all later. Peace friggin' out 
Oh.